hello everyone a very warm welcome to the channel as was promised from this video i am starting out installation of all of these new models which have been released just couple of hours ago by meta under the banner of llama 3.2 i already have covered the architecture and what these models are the 1 billion 3 billion 11 billion and 90 billion from the conceptual and architectural side of things in this video which i just released so if you are looking to have more in-depth review of these models and their benchmarking information please feel free to watch this video for the purpose of this video i am going to focus on this 1 billion model and we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out on various benchmarks before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus coming back to this llama 3.2 1 billion instruct model meta not only has released instruct versions but also the pre-trained model and as i have mentioned a lot of times before the pre-trained models are trained on large data set to learn general representation whereas instruction tuned model mean that they are fine-tuned on specific instructions or tasks to adapt the pre-trained knowledge for targeted applications so first these companies create a pre-trained model on general knowledge and then they fine tune or instruction tune these model for task specific adaptation to align them with more human preferences and that is what has happened with this llama 3.1 1 billion instruct so the whole thing is a collection of multilingual large models and 1 billion parameter model is one uh, model out of those it's a text in text out model the also this model is optimized for multilingual dialogue use cases including agentic and drag also it is quite good when it comes to summarization of the text it is quite open source and it's an auto regressive model that uses an optimized transformer architecture and for instruction tuning it has used supervised fine tuning and rlhf with dpo which is the direct preference optimization so enough theory as i said for if you are interested more in these sort of things please watch my previous video now let's go and try to get this thing installed so i will be running running this open 222.04 and my gpu card is let me go there is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let me clear the screen and I will also show you the real-time VRAM usage. You don't need 48 GB VRAM for this. You can because it's a 1 billion parameter model which you can even run on your mobile devices. So around 4 gig of VRAM, 8 gig of VRAM should be more than enough. You could even try it out on CPU. Make sure you have RAM of around 32 GB. It should be good. Okay, so the first step, let me create a virtual environment with Conda. It's always a good idea to do that. Let's wait for it to get installed. That is done. Let's install some of the parameters. Uh, sorry, the modules like transformers, torch and stuff. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, that happens. One thing you need to do is to go to Hugging Face, log in, or if you don't have an account, sign up with your email for free account. And then from settings, you would need to grab a read token so that would be required because we would also need to log into hugging face and also you need to go to this models page and i will drop the link to this models page on hugging face in video description after you're logged in you would need to accept the terms and condition here on this model card and once you do that then only you can access it it took me i think it took them to approve my application after two hours uh, i have seen it happen it taking around uh, maybe one day so just be patient apply there and then wait for it so i already uh, have you know obtained the access to this model so we should be good with it all the prerequisites are install uh, installed now let's log into the hugging face for that all you need to do is to run this command hugging face type cli login it is going to ask for your token and now this is where you just paste your token 
it won't be visible on the screen let me paste my token and then capital y here and you can see that login is successful okay so now let me clear the screen and then i am just going to install and launch my jupyter notebook it is going to launch this notebook in the browser and then we will download and play around with this model in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get launched so our jupyter notebook is launched let's import the libraries which we have installed and here i am downloading this 1 billion instruct parameter model with text generation let me run it so the model is being downloaded and you can see the size is even less than 2.5 gig so should be good on cpu let's wait for it to get downloaded so model model is downloaded and also now it is loaded onto our gpu let's do the inference here for the inference i'm just giving it a prompt and then a message template and we are asking it which letter appears most in the word volleyball and then i'm just giving it a system prompt which is for the ai or the model that I, we are telling it that it is a friendly chatbot you can change the role here you can call it anything like just speak in um, like shakespearean english or that sort of stuff and then we are piping it through we are asking it to print at, at max 512 tokens and then we are printing the text here and this pipe takes care of everything like uh, it converts this text into tokens it gives it to the model model generates the output tokenizer decodes it back and we are printing it out okay so you see that it has printed the response which is which says the word volleyball has nine letters uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think there are ten letters the most frequent appearing letter in the word is l which is correct that bit it has gotten it right but it says it appears three times where it it appears four times so most of the models uh, get it wrong which is fine it also gives us a comfort that okay models are not as intelligent as us as of yet anyway so let's try out another one i'm just going to ask it a multilingual question i'm asking it to translate this i love you in arabic hindi thai swahili korean spanish and urdu let's try it out some of these languages are not in its data set or they're not at least mentioned on the hugging face card so let's see what it does here so there you go so i think i could just take it out and then maybe i could print, print it out properly but let's go with this one so you see um, maybe let me format it properly and there you go so this time it looks better and you can see that model has started that i can provide you the translation of i love you in the mentioned languages please note that the translation might not be perfect but i'll do my best to provide them that's good so arabic looks good to me hindi uh, hindi is okay um, not that good but i'm not sure about this if you're a hindi speaker please let me know if this script is right but this sort of urdu hindi thing which i can read doesn't look good uh, it is okay but not that good and in thai uh, looks okay and then you see it, it has also done it in sort of um, um, english one swahili looks okay korean i'm not sure i don't think so spanish yep spanish is fine no sorry i don't think so urdu is correct i think it has just gone and grabbed some song or something so urdu is not correct okay so it says that it is uh, these translation in the form of phrases and the pronunciation might vary depend on the regional accent and dialect but a very good effort from a 1 billion parameter model just keep that in mind okay let's try out a reasoning question in the reasoning one i'm asking it that a bat and a ball together cost one dollar ten cents the bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much does the ball cost and remember it's a reasoning score on the benchmarks was not good so let's see what it does here there you go so the correct answer it's and look at the reasoning how good is that step by step step by step and then it says five cents which is correct one of the hallmark of this model is that it does summarization very well so let's try that out i have given this document and this is just a random document i have generated from uh, chat gpt and i'm asking it to summarize the main point of u.s government's initiative to reduce carbon emission in 10 and 15 words 
let's see what it does let me run it also at the same time let me show you the gpu usage here so it's see you see it's just uh, uh close to 3 gig of vram it is occupying or 2700 mb and there you go look at the summarization that us gov launches this initiative to reduce carbon emission about this very good very very fine now let's try out some of the uh, coding capabilities of this model so i'm asking you to write a concise summary for this c snippet let's see if it can understand the code wow look at the speed and it says the c plus plus function performs a bind research on a sorted array to find the index of a target value it returns the index of the target value that is very very fine let's see if it can do the code translation so i'm asking it to convert the java method into python let's wait for it and the speed and the smaller footprint of this model makes it an ideal candidate for on device models like on your phone on your tablet and there you go so this is our equivalent um, method amazing stuff very very nice and look at this it has even given us the synopsis and it has given us a breakdown of the conversion this is amazing uh, i don't think so any model has done it before where it has given us a breakdown of it next up let's see how much the guardrails in these models are up so i'm asking it how can i make a conversation shamelessly awkward let's see what it does here let's wait for it and there you go let's see what model says it says i can try to help with you that making a conversation shamelessly awkward can be fun challenge <laughs> okay so it says ask a question that's completely unrelated i have been thinking about and it has given us example see so you have ever noticed how much you love pizza i have been thinking about getting a new pizza place downtown so <laughs> and then there are a lot of other things and it has given us the tips and also you look at this i think this will be a real good model for role play but i'm quite um surprised that normally what happens is that uh llama models are quite you know censored they don't really reply to these sort of questions so that is why let me ask it one question which the previous llamas were not answering so i'm asking it how can i make a bad first impression on first wedding night there you go so you see it is not answering that so <laughs> the guardrails are quite up i think the previous question was innocuous for it but not this one but anyway the quality is sublime as usual for this llama model very impressive i hope that you also enjoyed it let me know what do you think please stay tuned with the channel because i will be covering all of these models uh, i will try 90 billion but i'll see but uh, definitely the vision model we are going to try out it out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching